Hey everyone, Coach Tim here from Hitrition.com. Just wanted to give you another MyFitnessPal tip. If you've ever tried to look for a food and the macros were inaccurate in MyFitnessPal, I didn't really have time to create a new food and put in those macros and calories and everything. Here is a quick way that you can add those macros into your food log and um, then you can um, put in that food later into MyFitnessPal when you have a little bit more time. But here's a quick way of doing it and it's just um, preparing ahead of time. So go ahead and click on food and go ahead and click on my foods. So with your my foods, go ahead and click create a food or create food. Um, don't fill in the brand or restaurant and just go ahead and fill in the food description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put fats, carbs, and proteins into your foods and then you can quickly access them later when you want to put in those macros. So you put in fats and continue. It'll say, we think you the food you submitted already may be in our database. So what you wanna do is no, this is not a duplicate at the bottom. So description is fats. The serving size is one gram. Servings per container, one. Go and click nine calories for one gram of fat. So total fat is one. Um, carbs will be zero. Protein will be zero. And that's it. Um, so go ahead and save that and create another. And you're gonna do the same thing for carbs and proteins as well. Again, nope, this is not a duplicate. One gram is a serving, si uh, serving size, one serving per container, four calories per one gram of carbs. So zero fats, one gram of carbs, zero grams of protein. Save and create another. And last one, protein. Continue, no, this is not a duplicate again. One gram, one serving per container, four calories, zero fat, zero carbs, and one protein. So save. Now what we're gonna do, um, say you had meal one open, go ahead and click add food, and click on my foods in the center here. And here you have carbs, fats, and proteins. So let's say you were eating a Pop-Tart at a restaurant, and they didn't have the right macros online um, in, in the MyFitnessPal database. So, you know, you could say it was 30 carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 5 grams of protein. So you'll add all those in, and it's going to have the accurate macros for you as you put in things so that you can put in those foods later um, if you still continue to eat them. This is also good for when you try to estimate your macros for a food that doesn't have um, any macros or calorie count on the menu when you go out to eat or even at home when uh, you're trying to figure out if a food is correct or not. So that's it for this little tutorial. Uh, I hope it's very useful to you. And if you like this, go ahead and share it with everybody so that they can start using MyFitnessPal and counting their macros and reaching their goals as well. Again, it's Coach Tim, and I'll see you guys next time.